Hey, Captain Ross Robertson with Big Water Fishing. You know, you hopefully have seen our videos, shenanigans, podcasts, whatever it may be. Well, here's what we're doing now, if you haven't seen. A project boat. Why would I buy a 20 year old boat? I have no idea. But we really wanted to have a little tiller boat. They're kind of a cult like following. They didn't make them that long. The Ranger 618. We took this just absolutely destroyed, tore up, hit, whatever you want to call it, smashed up boat. And we rebuilt this thing from top to bottom. Part three of the project boat is transducers. You know, that's really an important part of the deal. It's your eyes. And if you've seen any of our videos on our, on our bigger boats that we've done these things, a lot of guys have a lot of questions. Placement can be a really a big deal. And so check out what we did and why we did it on the project boat with our transducers. So the guy had a transducer board on the back of the boat here, but it was that color and against that hull, it kind of looked kind of crappy and stood out. So I just simply painted that black really easy there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little Dremel tool and I'm gonna put some grooves in here. That really helps get some adhesive in there. We're just gonna put some like marine green silicone in there. And that way it doesn't just all squeeze out or make it uneven. And then we're gonna put this back up mainly because there was a bunch of holes that this had created and kind of against the point. But so we're just gonna leave that on it, even though I'm gonna put another piece of little Burt's custom tackle one next to it where actually I want the transducers to be. So a little bit of a cosmetic thing and maybe down the road um, a little bit better situation. So we're putting this transducer board on. You can see I put a little bit of that silicone on there just to kind of help it grip a little bit. Basically I'm just putting this on just because I want to cover all the holes they actually drilled into the boat. You always want to use shorter screws than what the transducer board is. A little tip with the transducer board is I like using a bigger one, but you got to make sure that it's not anywhere near the bottom of the boat there because that'll grab and it'll rip it right off. Like here, you can see, I don't know that this was a great placement when you originally put it on there because we're gonna, you can't use half of it because of the strap. So like I said, I'm just putting this back on. I just did it for kind of cosmetic and to cover half of the holes that he had that were actually behind this so I can silicone those up. But I'm going to take a little Burt's Custom Tackle one like this, and we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna groove this out a little bit because this is actually where I'm gonna want that transducer. You wanna stay, if you watch any of our videos there on this, you wanna stay away from all these straights and really you generally wanna get it closer to the inside of the boat rather than farther out. So like I said, over here is gonna be the one that I add and where my money's gonna go there with the big side imaging transducer. If you've watched any of our videos in the past on my own personal YouTube page, you've seen or even a lot of the different places that I work with, we've done a lot of stuff on transducer placement and how important it is. Everybody asks me about settings. It's not about settings. It's nearly as much as it is about transducer placement. So we actually had this uh, roller there. You can see I was just chewed up. So I took that off and it was kind of nice because using a little bit different uh, self-centering style, I gained a little bit of height, which that with the old roller on, I wouldn't have been able to get this skimmer in there. So a couple things that I did is I put a little piece of starboard on there and that covered up the holes that were on before and that allowed that to get out as way from the boat also and, and the drain deal here. So I can get this skimmer right where I want. So running up plain, we're gonna be able to mark really good and replace the, uh, the roller all at the same time. And this is gonna be just for my 2D. When you just move up here a little bit, you can see we've got my mega side imaging and down imaging, which also has 2D, but we're gonna run this on a Y cable. So all of our 2D is gonna be run off of just this. And this will be side imaging, down imaging without interfering. And the nice thing on this is you can make really nice little adjustments. So this is actually gonna to need to be angled up a little bit because we want that flat while we're running, you know, let's say two to five miles an hour fast idling or fast fishing, because that's what you're gonna want. And you know, this transducer board was on, I took that off, I cleaned it up a little bit and we plugged the holes because they actually went into the boat past the transducer board. Kind of a no-no, gets the point. Uh, but when I also painted it because it was it was white and it looked kind of silly. But then I added a little Burt's Custom Tackle. They have a shorter one, we just match that angle. And that way, if I do have to move these things around, I got away from the strap as you can see. So transducer boards, the more the merrier, that way you can move things around, get that sucker dialed right in and not drill into your boat. Uh, and then we put a little few cable ties in. We did the same stuff that we always do. We chamfered in uh, on the fiberglass. We don't have anything cracking. We filled the holes with silicone. And then we ran these wires up and we'll show you just kind of how we clean it up when we get to the boat. 